Today, Maraca Method will be looking into the fascinating world of hair growth and the hair growth cycle. Ever wonder how your hair goes through different phases and why disruptions in this cycle can lead to hair loss? We've got you covered. Let's dive right in. To understand the process, we need to know about the three main phases of the hair growth cycle. First up, we have the antigen phase, also known as the growth phase. This is where your hair actively grows and can last anywhere from two to seven years. The cells in your hair follicle rapidly divide, pushing the hair shaft out from the scalp. Next comes the catagen phase, the transition phase, which lasts for a few weeks. During this time, the hair follicle starts to shrink and hair growth slows down. It's like a brief pause before moving to the next phase. Finally, we have the telogen phase, the resting or shedding phase. This phase typically lasts for around three months. The hair follicle is inactive and the hair strand is ready to shed and make way for new hair growth. Now that we know about the hair growth phases, let's talk about disruptions in the cycle, which can lead to hair loss. For example, if the antigen phase is shortened or disrupted, the hair won't grow to its full potential, leading to shorter hair strands and reduced overall volume. During the catagen phase, if the hair follicle doesn't properly transition to the resting phase, it can result in weakened hair strands and increased breakage. In the telogen phase, hair strands that prematurely enter this resting stage can lead to excessive shedding and thinning hair. There are many factors that can disrupt the hair growth cycle. Let's take a look at some of the common ones. First, we have hormonal imbalances. Hormones play a crucial role in hair growth and fluctuations can disrupt the cycle. Next, poor nutrition. Your hair needs essential nutrients like protein, iron, and vitamins to grow strong and healthy. Stress is another big factor. High stress levels can push your hair follicles into the resting phase prematurely. Environmental factors such as pollution and harsh chemicals in hair products can also affect the hair growth cycle. Last, certain medical conditions, medications, and genetics can contribute to hair loss and disrupt the hair growth cycle. Remember, understanding your hair's natural cycle and taking care of your overall health can go a long way in promoting healthy hair growth. We hope you enjoyed this educational journey into the hair growth cycle. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, drop them in the comments below. Music